As the world continues to grapple with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, new variants of the virus have emerged, causing concern among health officials and researchers. One such variant is XBB.1.5, which is quickly becoming the dominant strain in parts of the United States. This variant has been identified by the World Health Organization WHO, as the most transmissible descendant yet of the Omicron variant. According to recent estimates by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, XBB.1.5 rose from barely 2% of US cases at the start of December to more than 27% the first week of January. This is particularly worrying as more than 70% of cases in the northeastern United States are believed to be XBB.1.5. While there is no evidence that XBB.1.5 is more virulent than its predecessors, it does have a potent mix of mutations that make it easier to spread widely. This includes among those who have been previously infected or vaccinated. This has raised concern among some health experts that it could further limit booster uptake, leading to more severe illness and hospitalization. The emergence of XBB.1.5 is a reminder of the ongoing battle against the virus, and the importance of continued vigilance. The mutation and evolution of the virus are a natural response to selective pressure, and more variants are expected to emerge in the coming months and years. These new variants will require ongoing monitoring, and potentially further adjustments to vaccination efforts and public health measures. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected the entire world, and it will continue to do so for some time. The emergence of new variants such as XBB.1.5 highlights the importance of continued research and monitoring to understand the characteristics of new variants and how they may impact the course of the pandemic. The pandemic has also highlighted the need for a more robust public health infrastructure and preparedness. The rapid spread of XBB.1.5 serves as a reminder that we need to be better prepared for future pandemics. This includes investing in research, strengthening public health systems, and building a more resilient healthcare system. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and stay in the know.